start in chapter six. Start in chapter six is talking about quadrilaterals and a specific type of quadrilaterals, okay? And here's all, all the vocabulary to get us started with um, quadrilaterals, okay? Uh, it's simply a four-sided figure, uh, and it's a four-sided convex polygon, okay? You should know what convex is, we call that. Of course, we found that uh, all, all quadrilaterals had angle sum, which was 360. And then we have special types, parallelograms, rectangle, rhombuses, squares, trapezoids, and kites, okay? So the next page will show you uh, what is uh, uh, the relationship. And this is an a important relationship, one that you will build, okay, with Sketchpad, okay, in class, all right? So here we have at the very top quadrilateral, it's a four-sided figure, and all the breakdowns from there are special type of quadrilaterals, okay? And the special type of quadrilaterals are the parallelograms, the trapezoids, and the kites, okay? Long and short of it is, parallelogram has two sets of parallel sides. That's why it's called parallelogram, okay? A trapezoid has one set of parallel sides, all right? A trapezoid has one set of parallel sides, and uh, the parallelogram has two sets of parallel sides, and the kite has no sets of parallel sides, okay? So a special type of a parallelogram is a rectangle, which is a parallelogram which is equiangular, meaning it has all its angles equal. A rhombus is a special type of parallelogram which is equilateral, which means it has all its uh, sides equal. A square is, okay, both a rectangle and a rhombus, okay? It is a rectangle and a rhombus, so it is what we call a regular parallelogram or a regular quadrilateral, okay? So it is both a rectangle because it is equilateral and equiangular, and it is a rhombus special type because it is equilateral but then it's also equiangular. So the square could be defined, if you will, as a equilateral rectangle or as a equiangular rhombus, okay? The trapezoid has one set of parallel sides, okay? And if, if it has one set of parallel sides and one set of equal sides, which we call the legs, then it is a uh, isosceles trapezoid. Then it is a isosceles trapezoid. The kite over here has no set of parallel sides, but is, is defined by having uh, two sets of congruent adjacent sides, which we'll see A, B, and B, C are adjacent and congruent. A, D, and D, C are adjacent and congruent, okay? So know the relationship as, as uh, demonstrated here, and know the definitions as demonstrated here, and we'll ask you to piece these together um, and um, in the uh, diagram that we'll end up showing you and uh, that you'll create in Sketchpad. So we'll get to that.